I don't know what week this is, but we're on our uh, pastor's video blog, and uh, we're getting ready, probably, I think, I'm believing God for the most exciting weekend in brand new church's history. Uh, we're getting ready for uh, our first Saturday night service, which we're doing at our Bergman campus. We're getting ready to uh, start two services at our Mountain Home location. And we're doing our first vision experience for our Goshen location. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm so grateful to God for what he's doing at Brand New Church. But you know, something that God's been teaching me is about vision. And uh, I don't know about you, but I love um, archery. I love shooting my bow. And I've noticed that the thing that's key, at least for me, is we're standing in this hot warehouse shooting a little bit this afternoon, um, is vision. Um, the, the key is this. Even in drawing back and all that, the key for success is going to be your vision. There's a little sight out there on the end of this that I've got to use to put in the center of the target. I think we're pretty close. Not perfect, but we're pretty, pretty close. You know, it's amazing to me that for much of my ministry, I would find myself drawing back and closing my eyes in fear of where it might end up. I know Scott's hoping I open my eyes soon here as he's videoing this. But I just closed my eyes. I was like, man, come on, God, let it happen. But I realized he's already given me his vision. It's found in his word. It's found in the way he's wired me. And it's my job to pull the trigger and put the sight on target with the vision that he's given me. And so as you look at that and as you think of that, as I think of it, man, it challenges me because for years... I've found myself with the same vision in my heart, but not the ability to really take the risk and open my eyes and let what God's given me be used to go forward for his cause. Because he's wired me with this vision. I don't know what your vision is, but I pray that it's one that's big, that's huge. Matter of fact, even on, on my sites, I've got multiple sites just so that I can be as effective as possible. And, and you've got to have that. God's given us that in his word. You know, another thing that I think is so cool, though, for many of us is it's, it's, it's troublesome. We're, we're finding ourselves maybe in a marriage, and, and we, we're finding ourselves in a church with some children, a situation, our finances. And here's what we feel like. We feel like that we're going backwards, and we're pulled back, and we're struggling, and we're battling these issues, and we're all backwards. But, you know, this arrow can never fly and never sense the inertia a great vision being fulfilled in it unless I pull it back. And you've got to go backwards before you can go forwards. And it's important that you and I realize that as we move forward as church leaders, as, as parents, as husbands, as wives, as uh, influencers on any level, sometimes you've got to go backwards before you can go forwards. But the only way you can see that inertia and the flight of the arrow with great success is with the vision that God's given you. So this week, I just want to challenge you to get God's vision. I know that God's vision that we have here at Brand New Church, to me, I'm just going to be really, really transparent. It's bigger than I think I'm capable of doing. But that's when God's involved. Uh, man, I, I'm telling you, it challenges me. Six services this weekend, brand new weekend experiences. Um, my wife and I have just been begging God for incredible strength. It's, it's caused me to step up disciplines in my own life in many areas. So look for that vision. Look for that sight. Get everything ready. Pull back. Draw on that sight that God's given you. And don't think that just because you're going just a little bit backwards that that's a bad thing. Because that's going to send the inertia right through the arrow. Because if I chose to take one of these and just chunk it, it's not nearly as effective as if I put it on the string in sight with the right vision, pulled back. Then you're going to see 250, 270 feet per second. I want to encourage you to do that and watch God give you incredible success as you line your sight with his vision.